Let's look at another example and see how we would create a campaign based on the given media plan. In this plan, the only media type is display. It is planned to run with different creative sizes with different creative messages to run in rotation. And the flight duration is 10 days. Now what you can do is pause this video for one minute before going to the next slide. Meanwhile, please draw a basic outline of campaign structure in the previous example on a piece of paper. This allows you to practice and learn. I hope you got a sample campaign structure ready. Now we shall go through the first scenario in this example. Since this campaign is all about display, I am planning to run everything under single I.O. We shall create a single campaign, single I.O and three line items which represents creative sizes and assign respective creatives. With this structure, we can make sure that the planned budget for respective creative sizes can be allocated strictly. In this example, let's look at the second case. Instead of creating a separate line for each creative size, we will create a single line item for all three creatives and assign to this line item. As per the planned budget of example 2, 300 cross 250 creative should get 3000 and follows others with their respective planned budgets. With creative rotation, each creative may spend according to their performance and receive more or less budget, originally planned one, from overall budget of 10k. For example, medium rectangle may receive 5000 while the other could receive 2500 and 2500 respectively. You can use this scenario if you get approval for creative rotation based on performance even though the budget allotment for creative sizes fluctuates. This campaign structure may be used for any campaign that requires budget distribution based on the highest performing creative. But what if our client strictly wants each creative size to spend as per the planned one? In this case, then you can create a separate line 